In this video, I'm going to teach you how YouTube combined audiences work and whether you should use them or not. So let's get right into it. But before I do, my name is Shash. I'm the owner of Links Digital and make sure to smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so I can keep sending you more YouTube ads gold. So let's get right into this video. So what are YouTube ads combined audiences? You can basically think of them as combinations of audiences, right? So you can essentially narrow down audiences or exclude audiences. You're basically combining different audiences and think of them as like building blocks. Now I'm going to give you an example of this, right? So we're in the campaign. What you want to do is you want to go to the audience section right here. And you can see here that there is an edit audience segment, right? You select your ad group, click on it. And then what you can do is you go in here and then you can click on combined audience segments, right? Right at the bottom under other segments. And then you can create a new one or you can just click on one that exists. So if you click on a new combined audience and let's say, let's call this combined audience test health. And what a segment is, is an audience. They're just calling it segments. So what we can do in here is we can take any audiences we want and we can essentially narrow them down. So let's say I want to go for health, right? I want to essentially target healthy people. So we'll click on affinity and then we'll click on sports and fitness, right? So health and fitness buffs. This is what we're talking about. So we have a very big audience, which is health and fitness buffs. Now, if you want to narrow it down, so there's a few ways we can do it. If you want to make it bigger, so let's say we have two small audiences and we want to combine them and we can combine them. So if I want to combine, you know, let's say we had health and fitness buffs and maybe we want to combine that with people who are getting married soon. So what it's going to do is this is an R. So this could be health and fitness buffs or getting married soon, right? It doesn't mean they're both going to be in that. Now, if you wanted to specifically target health and fitness buffs that are getting mm -hmm. married soon, you would click narrow your segment here and then you would go to getting married. There we go. And now this is an and, right? So if you're putting it in here, it will make it like an R, so it'll expand it. And if you put it here, it will make it narrower. So it has to be, in, it has to be, if you think of a Venn diagram, it's basically the subset of people who are both health and fitness buffs and are getting married soon. Now, the other cool part is you can also exclude audiences here. So you click here and you could actually Let's say you want to exclude people who are purchasing a home because you find that people who buy homes usually don't care about getting a trainer, right? Like they're too busy. So now you can do that, right? So that's really, really cool there. Now, other cool things you can do here is if you want to exclude, let's say, uh, remarketing audiences, you can do that in here as well. Actually, I misspelled remarketing there. Let's go to remarketing and or actually it's better to go into browse how they've interacted with the business so this is remarketing and then you could actually exclude people who viewed your youtube videos or people who visited your website so that's another cool thing you could do now some ways you can use this is you can use this with your custom audiences so you could even like create custom audiences right and you could kind of narrow them down so let's say if i have a custom audience like people who are also interested in facebook ads then i could perhaps narrow it down with this custom intent for Facebook ads. So now it's more targeted. A couple things to keep in mind with these audiences is that they do often narrow things down a bit too much when you're using the and functionality. Uh, we've typically found a lot of delivery issues when you try to narrow things down too much, right? So if you're going to play around with this, just be aware that a lot of times when you're just making things too narrow, it can really hurt things in terms of delivery and getting your ads out there and getting them spending. I do recommend being aware of this, right? Um, we have tested combined audiences extensively. We haven't had the best results because usually, you know, we'll just test an individual audience. And if it does well, we scale it up. If it doesn't, we scale it down. But when we try to combine audiences in the and section, then it basically makes the audiences kind of too small to deliver properly. And then when we try to do the R, which is like make the audiences really big, I mean, that's definitely one way to do it. But again, at that point, we could just choose a bigger audience, right? So it's not a magic bullet. However, it is worth testing out once in a while. You can find a good audience. Now, one question I often get is people ask me, hey, Shash, should I use combined audiences to exclude people who've purchased or people who are on my website so I don't retarget them with my cold ads accidentally? 
Uh, my answer to that is honestly, it's a lot easier to when you're setting up the campaigns to just have an exclusion in the campaign level, because if you're doing it every single time you create an audience, it's a lot of work. It's just so much easier to exclude it at the campaign level, because then you can put in whatever audience. You don't have to do it at the audience level. So that's my answer to that. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Again, go give this a try. As I said, my experience has a, with it has been mixed. I prefer just testing a lot of different individual audiences, one audience per campaign, but give it a try because I'm always open to learning. And if you guys can make it work, I'd love to hear about it. So thanks again for watching this video and make sure to smash the subscribe button and the not notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. And also the next video you should watch is, I'll have an end screen link. It's our ultimate guide to YouTube ads targeting where we go over all the YouTube ads targeting options. So thanks for watching again.